In the frozen wilderness of the Arctic, temperatures plunge below minus 40, stretching silence farther than the eye can see. A shadow moves across this endless white, a formidable machine forged with stealth, precision, and immense power for secret missions. The Arctic, once considered a barren place, now stands as the front line of critical, evolving global strategy for all nations. As the ice melts, new maritime trade routes appear alongside untapped resources, guaranteeing that complex conflict will inevitably follow. With Russia building bases and China sailing its polar silk road, the United States diligently prepares for unthinkable cold weather scenarios. The core challenge, how can a highly advanced fighter jet, designed for warmer climates, survive this Arctic environment's brutal chill? That question directly sparked one of the most covert military experiments in all of modern history, pushing technology to its absolute limit. Deep within Alaska's icy mountains lies a classified and highly secretive facility known only to insiders as Zone Frost. Local pilots whispered stories of night flights, silent triangles gliding over frozen valleys, engines barely audible against the polar night sky. Here, the U.S. Air Force tested the untested, whether the F-35 could effectively take off, land, and fight reliably in eternal sub-zero cold. Inside the Frost Command hangar, a dedicated team of 12 elite pilots quietly gathered for their mission. Operation Cold Halo commenced. Engineers had to redesign internal systems completely so lubricants resisted freezing and sensors maintained proper thermal shielding reliably. Essential radar absorbent coating, the skin which provides the F-35 its stealth, had to be expertly re-engineered to withstand severe ice formation. Every circuit, line of code, and fuselage bolt was completely recalibrated for the world's harshest, most challenging climate before the final test. Lightning 1, cleared for test run. Visibility is very low. Winds are 30 knots. With massive afterburners igniting, the powerful jet surged forward, wheels biting into solid ice, engines screaming through the deep frost. Then, an incredible liftoff. For the first time, an F-35 pierced the Arctic sky under a comprehensive combat simulation successfully. The cold environment clawed at the aircraft, and powerful hydraulics strained severely, yet the Lightning II absolutely- At 30,000 feet, sensors recorded critical data the Pentagon had never seen, including aerodynamic drag increasing by 12%. Despite all of this, primary systems remained fully functional. The pilot, Call sign Viper. Halfway through the crucial test, alarms sounded. A warning flashed red. The jet's life support system's oxygen feed was unstable. Viper's controlled breathing slowed. He stayed calm and used the manual override, successfully rerouting air through critical emergency reserves. This flight wasn't only a simple test, it quickly became a critical survival exercise for both the dedicated pilot and the powerful machine. At 400 hours, ground control gave the final command. Lightning 1, commence the sensitive ice landing sequence immediately. The landing zone was not a runway, but a wide, shifting, frozen lake. Thin and utterly uneven, but the jet descended, sensors scanning for unseen cracks. Engines screamed as they expertly reversed thrust, holding tight. For 19 seconds, the remarkable jet rolled breaking hard on the ice until deep silence finally returned to this quiet Arctic expanse. Data recovered from this high-stakes mission absolutely stunned military analysts, showing full operation completed with minimal critical system failure. The experiment proved one thing. America's highly advanced stealth power could securely reach even the most remote corners across the planet. The Arctic dawn comes without warning, just a silver glow over the silent horizon, and a lone F-35 resting on the frozen lake. The engines were now silent, their residual heat creating a soft halo of steam over the deep ice. Around the aircraft was endless white with no sound or movement, yet somewhere above the silence, unseen eyes were watching closely. At NORAD's monitoring station, a distinct red dot suddenly appeared on the man radar screen. Unidentified object. Analysts immediately tensed. The Russians were effectively sending a message, we see you but communications were breaking up fast. Viper climbed back inside the cockpit. Fuel reserves were critically low, and visibility was near zero. But he absolutely had to take off immediately. He powered the F-35. The engines whined in deep protest against the brutal cold. The fragile ice cracked beneath the shuddering wheels. 
At 70% thrust, the crucial rear stabilizer completely iced over. Warning lights flashed again urgently, demanding his full attention. With one final violent burst, the powerful jet accelerated hard, exploding shards of ice beneath it as it clawed into the vast sky once more. At 15,000 feet, radar contact immediately confirmed. Two unidentified twin-engine aircraft were approaching very quickly. The Arctic air war had begun, totally unseen by the rest of the world. Viper angled his F-35 through a heavy bank of dense fog. Missile locks failed to acquire the target. To the enemy, the F-35 was a ghost, silently absorbing all radar pulses effectively. But stealth is never truly invisible forever. Viper inverted and completely disappeared below the main radar horizon for survival. Below him stretched a complex labyrinth of vast ice canyons, frozen rivers carved over countless centuries of cold weather. Viper expertly dove between them, skimming just 30 feet above the treacherous surface, utilizing the advanced autopilot assist. Behind the F-35, the frustrated Russian jets circled. Their radar could not penetrate this vast, twisted Arctic terrain effectively. Miles away, a covert U.S. Special Operations Unit, call sign Raven Squad, monitored the pilot's weak feed intently. They were stationed on a completely hidden ice base, disguised deliberately as a common meteorological outpost for safety and secrecy. As Viper prepared for his landing, all power suddenly flickered, and the F-35's critical instruments glitched completely to a black screen. Then, a static whisper filled his headset. System override. External interference was definitely detected. A highly sophisticated cyber breach. For 19 terrifying seconds, the F-35 flew blind, with AI subroutines successfully fighting off the dangerous digital intrusion. Just when it seemed completely over, the essential cockpit suddenly lit up again, and the complex system successfully recovered quickly. Data logs later revealed the truth. The successful hack originated from an Arctic satellite relay one determined to be Chinese-built. Viper successfully guided the F-35 down near the waiting Raven base. Wheels met the ice this time, and it was stable. Within minutes, an Air Force C-17 transport roared loudly overhead, descending quickly for the essential emergency extraction of personnel. The high-stakes mission was officially classified, and all the recovered data was immediately encrypted and securely stored for analysis. Weeks later, the sealed Pentagon briefing room reviewed all the critical mission footage, confirming two incredibly important things. The Arctic experiment clearly confirmed the F-35 could effectively operate in the world's most extreme, unforgiving environment successfully. Furthermore, America's determined competitors were already testing their operational reach there, signaling future potential conflicts clearly. As the world warms overall, the Arctic sadly freezes deeper into an ongoing conflict. No longer is it a place of just scientists. The F-35's secret mission proved one undeniable point. Technology may win critical battles, 